Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna try uh, a fitness app called Olofit by Olidia and uh, this is another app that I'm trying, I'm trying many kind of a fitness app and not and even games that not categorize as fitness app that offer you uh, the option to kind of uh, work and uh, do workout uh, and uh, losing weight and getting to you know get fit uh, so this is one of them but I wasn't happy with this and in this video I'm gonna explain to you uh, what's wrong with this? Why I actually didn't connect with it and maybe what can be improved? Um, so let's jump into it and let's talk about this app uh, a bit more Now I tried the demo keep this in mind there's actually a demo you can try or you can subscribe But of course I want to try out to see if I like it or not um, and basically I find it to be uh, boring and uh, also uh, the graphics uh, of course i don't expect the graphics on the oculus quest 2 to be absolutely amazing but again the thing is that you really feel that for this type of application you if you want to be immersed with beautiful views uh you probably want uh, a pc version or either something kind of graphics that are different uh, cartoony that are interesting and unique uh this delivers neither things like it wants to be a bit realistic in a way but it knows it can't and it just really you know the graphics are kind of uh, pretty bad with uh, you know the the lack of anti-aliasing and even the colors just it, it just feels a bit i don't know depressing so that's what i did i just enter the application try to do a run and a few cycling and see how i feel now i did give it time i give it plenty of time to try to get imp good impressions but come on, just running in place with this one. Although one thing was actually done good is that actually the you can see that the movement, you don't control the movement. So the movement is automatic, just going on a certain path. And this is good because I try another app, it was terrible, where I need always to control where I'm looking. Sometimes I just move a bit because I can't see where I'm actually, uh, my orientation in the real life, right? I can't see it because I'm wearing the headset. So just I'm just always fighting against the direction and getting into the path back and it was felt so awkward because you need to move your body slightly in you know and i can't run in place and do these slight motions in order to always make sure that i'm walking or running in the same path uh, although the other one was more interesting graphics wise uh than this in my opinion but just was way off so this one was better in that aspect but just doing the same movement over and over again i mean you just feel awkward. I mean, if I want to exercise, and the reason I started VR exercising is because I didn't feel that I'm exercising. <laughs> it sounds weird, right? Because yeah, that's how it started. I just play a game, I enjoy it, and I feel that my body is working nice. So I actually enjoyed the game, I enjoyed the w the workout during the gameplay. I actually told myself, oh, wait a minute, I'm enjoying the game and I'm exercising at the same time. Well, this is great, and I wanted to exercise. Trust me. Inside, I didn't like how I look. I'm you know, overweight and I want to lose weight, so it was very important for me, but you know, you need to get motivated, right? So what actually can get you motivated? Well, uh, a game, a game, uh, and actually that's what it is. I don't need actually a specific fitness app in general. I need a game that gets me into shape, that I can actually move my body, you know, it doesn't matter, for example, the boxing game. Uh, like the training of the fight VR boxing, right? I'm boxing, I'm enjoying this. Uh, and again, I feel exercise after some time, very quickly, I feel that I'm sweating and I'm putting some effort in, uh, and it feels great. Uh, and I see move, I see I burn calories, spend 45 minutes without actually paying attention. Uh, and this is what I want to feel. So the idea, the goal is, I think, with type of fitness app is not just create, you know, a, a kind of standard fitness app with activities that are very similar to real life one. But actually create a game that people enjoy playing and on the way people can actually use them for exercise and of course my favorite three are right now yeah I'm, i haven't tried many others i need to try more uh beat saber um the three of the fight uh vr boxing and racket nx those three are absolutely amazing uh and i enjoy it i enjoy playing them and uh of course uh it depends on um on the difficulty you play in some games, some of them more intensive. Uh, but overall, these three are actually amazing games that can give you very, very good exercise. And now I have to talk about graphics. Listen, not that the graphics are super important, right? But they are important. I mean, if the uh, experience was fun, 
I wouldn't mind, for example, having this type of environment. It's, it wasn't bad, by the way, but it wasn't great either. But the thing is that, personally, I would prefer just putting a VR, um, 360 VR video on YouTube, uh, when I just don't do like kind of run movement and just enjoy seeing uh, beautiful, realistic views in front of me, uh, whatever, just watching like... Uh, not just running for example on the windmill and just watching TV for example something like that something more interesting Maybe I can learn something on the way. I mean you can even learn languages I don't know something that can be more beneficial for me uh, What I'm actually doing is Kind of movement, you know because I can still do the movement while doing something else uh, And the idea here is that's supposed to be connected of course, but uh, overall just didn't convince However, they also have uh, physical accessories you can, you can use with this. Uh, and again, this can be nice um, if you have something like a physical accessory that the application can, you know, can, uh, uh, was designed to work with. Uh, this can be interesting overall. Uh, but one thing that I felt without using any accessories because I don't have accessories and I don't want accessories, by the way, uh, because I want to be simple. I mean, the headset itself alone is, 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 is uh, come on, is something that I prefer not having, but. Uh, and the controllers so or oh, another accessory come on so um uh oh yeah one of the things that i didn't like also is that when i try to do like a really running motion in place it's running in place it just moves so slow it's actually supposed to move uh at the, you know based on how you move your controllers but it turned out that it just move always slow and i try to kind of keep up move faster faster and i just couldn't i tried to pass the the, the seven uh, kilometers per hour just just i try here i'm trying i'm trying very very hard but you just can't and i got tired but just trying <laughs> it was so funny anyway again this just didn't work for me it didn't click and it felt boring and this is the last thing i want to be in vr i mean if a person already convinced to use vr they need really good reason to use it Right, really, even now with the, the headset, you don't even a PC. Yeah, people are all you now thinking about putting a headset on, right, and controllers that disconnect from the world. You need a good reason to do this. Yeah. This way, it's still a niche market. You know, people want the comfortable. You know, uh, uh, they enjoy the comfortable just sitting on the chair in front of the PC without wearing anything. So, if they want to do this and for exercising. You need to create something very, very entertaining for them to convince them to get into it and or you know, to enjoy it. And this is actually not for exercising. That's what I'm, t you know, I'm mentioning. It's supposed to be a fun game, but also an exercise. Uh, again, like Beat Saber, for example, you can spend easily an hour in Beat Saber trying to pick your records and enjoy it, and you don't think about exercise, but you do exercise while doing so. So again, it's kind of a people try to sell things with a fitness, you know, type of uh, idea. And some work, some doesn't. Uh, there are ones that are really professional, for example, with uh, designed with professional trainers and stuff. But again, this is not what I want. Uh, I mean, it sounds great, probably an alternative for a gym in a way. But uh, for me personally, if I want to lose weight and get it fit, uh, and uh, if I want it, let's say it like this: if I want to put in certain muscles, uh, well, probably I need an app that can actually create mini games that actually work on certain muscles. But this is not what I'm actually doing right now. I want to lose weight, I want to exercise, and I want to do it in a game that I enjoy. Uh, and not necessarily in a fitness game, just in a game. I want to play a game and have fun. I love games. Uh, so for me, again, this one just uh, is failed, and uh, that's the reason I even didn't got the um, subscription service. It's not that you don't even buy it, you need to get into subscription, which I, personally I understand in a way. Uh, especially for an app that needs constant updating to keep itself fresh uh, so this is understandable although sometimes uh, the prices are a bit high uh, for many and also you know some people forget that actually the subscription they forget i don't like this you know thing because unless they're reminders but usually don't have reminders you need to remember that you have subscription you have several of them you can forget it and get I, you know, there's something about subscription that is kind of sketchy in my opinion no, not that the, the developer will want to do it purposely but you just you, know, you just can forget i don't know i don't like this practice i prefer paying a one price good price for it but again i understand i can understand the practice behind this uh you know for constant updates because uh you know instead of just buying a dlc a dlc although i personally prefer buying dlcs yeah um uh like a bunch of dlcs then 
paying a subscription service for constant because again it depends you know how much you use it although you can always cancel yeah it's important. you can always cancel anyway uh, just mentioning this so overall disappointing um all fit uh not for me i'm gonna search for more uh, but you can try it out of course uh, for yourself uh the demo is free so you can download it uh, for the oculus quest 2 and see if it works for you or not so this is it for this video i see you very soon with more content hopefully to find better apps fitness app and weight loss app that aren't necessarily categorized as such right i see you very soon on the next video thanks for watching consider subscribing to my channel and give this one a little like i see you soon on the next video cheers everyone bye bye